Well, Tucson is holding a special election asking residents whether the city should partner with TEP to add a monthly fee. That money would go towards underground electric lines and the city's plan to make Tucson carbon neutral by 2030. Now, on your sides, Andrew Christensen is live with us in studio. Andrew, uh, that's not the only thing money would go towards. Yeah, Ryan, so that new fee would also go towards the city's climate action and adaptation plan. That plan is just a draft right now, but it's in talks about how the city can tackle other climate issues, but it would also go towards electric vehicle charging stations throughout the city. Now, sustainability advocates I spoke with tell me that's a start, but there's a lot more that the city can do. When it comes to saving energy, Dwayne Ediger does it in a few ways. It's fun learning how to be responsible with our energy. He uses an electric car and uses a solar oven. He says almost all of his house's energy comes from his solar panels. The placement of wires really doesn't make a difference. It's the other choices we have about how we live. As for the city's plans to put electric lines underground, he says it would not help the environment. Transmission will go on whether it's above ground or below ground. Ediger says the city needs to expand people's options when it comes to renewable energy, especially low income residents. As for whether he feels like the city can become carbon neutral by 2030, Ediger says he doesn't think so. It would take a gargantuan effort, and I think it's very unlikely, unfortunately. The city of Tucson says even with their plan, carbon emissions can still go up by the year 2030, but says they would be higher without their plan. Their new fee would help fight that. On average, the new fee would only be about 93 cents a month for residential areas, $2.65 for small businesses, and could go up to almost $4,000 a month for larger users. Resident Bruce Plank also uses an electric car and solar panels. He's excited more money will go towards the city's plan. As for whether he would vote for the new fee, he says yes, but he says he's hoping TEP uses their own money to help residents. To help people who live in older homes that are leaky or have uh, bad furnaces or live in mobile homes, weatherize those homes and get solar on them. He says the city should work with TEP on that especially for people who cannot afford it. Now, as for what else this new fee would go towards helping the public understand climate change. Now, if you do want to weigh in on the city's plan, you have until February 23rd. The actual election is on May 16th. Reporting in studio, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9 on your side.